Uh, you know, one of the things about games that I like is the diversity of genres you have in it. Like, realistically, the difference between a platformer and, like, a grand strategy game is huge. And all the different genres exist, and it's quite impressive. And one of the nice things about gaming is that, generally speaking, one genre doesn't usually dominate too much. Now, granted, you know, there was the age of the platform, the age of the FPS, and all that jazz, but generally speaking, there's always different types being made. Games don't tend to, because generally they exist in their own fields. You know what I mean? So they don't usually need to be trend set as much. There's always trends, but it's not usually as bad as in some other genres. Or mediums, I mean. However, there is a trend I've noticed, and it does somewhat worry me. In the world of gaming, if that makes sense. And I don't have an exact word for this, but I'm going to call it the storytelling game. Or Telltale type games. This is a game genre that you're probably really know of if have not played. This is a game like Telltale's The Walking Dead, Detroit Become Human, The Life of Strange series, those type of games. Now I bet you're thinking to yourself, well, why do you worry about these things? Well, I'm just gonna be blunt here. I don't particularly care for them. And that's not because I'm going to make an argument that they're bad or somehow horrible. That's not the point. The point is, they're not my cup of tea, and that's perfectly fine. I'm not trying to tell you you shouldn't like the genre. In fact, if you like it, more power to you. But, there was a worrying trend I've noticed of how they are thought about, and how I believe it's starting to infect other genres, and I think it needs to be talked about. If not, I don't want, I don't know, but let me put it this way. I don't like, I don't like the idea behind them. If, I'll break it down to roughly two points. One, I don't appreciate the idea behind them, and two, I don't think they live up to the name game. Let's start with the first point. One of the first points of reason I hate them is the philosophy behind a lot of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them. This is the Detroit Become Human, Life is Strange, I'm talking about type stuff here. Is the idea or philosophy that a video game, in order to be good, must be more like a movie. You must make video games more like movies. They must be cinematic, they must be deep stories, they must do this and that, and I'm tired of it. Not because a video game can't have a good story, and not that a video game can't be uplifted or even great, much greater by a story, but the idea that the most important thing about a video game is its story. And I just don't appreciate that. I don't think it's true either. Mostly because it's a flawed methodology. Because fundamentally, a movie is a horrible video game, and a video game is a horrible movie. Not because the one is better or worse than the other, but this is a different genre. Yes, you can make adaptations, of course, but that's fundamentally changing things to make it suit. I could turn, you know, I could turn H.G. Wells' Time Machine into a first-person shooter with an epic skill system, but it is going to end up being a different story than the book. And that's not saying the book is bad. The book's great, by the way, but the thing is, is that when you design a certain type of medium, a movie, a book, a video game, a play, it doesn't matter. You have to take into account the medium you're working in. Because you wouldn't make a book like you would a movie. You wouldn't make a movie like you would a comic book. And you wouldn't make a comic book like you would a video game. There are just differences in the genre. And that's perfectly fine. This isn't a who is better situation. But fundamentally, when you try to design a video game to be like a movie, to try to live up to movie standards, or m movie conventions, you will always end up with a subpar game because of it. Not because you can't take elements of them. The cinematic style is quite common in more story-focused games, or these video games with a heavy plot to them. However, at the end of the day, if you make a video game like you would a movie, you will always end up with a subpar game because a game and a movie are just not the same. Yes, you could say, well, well video games have cutscenes and story moments. Yes, but there's also the gameplay, and that's an important part of a video game. Game. If I, because fundamentally, if I want my video games to be like movies, which I don't, which is not a thing, because if I want to watch a movie, I'd go watch a movie, not play a video game. Now, that's not me criticizing games like the Mass Effect series or other heavily story-based RPGs or that kind of game. That's fine, but there's still a distinction there. There are still the, this is the, this is the cutscene part, and this is the gameplay. And yes, they sometimes intertwine, but fundamentally, a game is still a game because it has those game moments. And now my second point. They don't really live up to being video games. Now, they aren't the only genre to do this. And there isn't a flaw with them. I'm not saying that, oh, every video game needs to be super high in gameplay graphics or whatever. But I am pointing out that they don't really follow game conventions. 
they don't, like, think about it. Like, if you look at something like Detroit Become Human, or Life is Strange, or that, they don't really have gameplay. The most they consist of is quick time events or narrative choices. There isn't much else to a lot of these games. And once again, that isn't entirely bad on its own, although I don't personally prefer it, but rather, I'm, but it sends a bad message. And I'm, this is where I'm getting from the more subjective elements to the more my point for this video. Is that I am worried what these games mean for the future of the video game medium. Because they are so highly praised. They are so talked about and admired for their deep and controversial stories. And how important they are for the video game medium. And how it's told to be the future of video games. And all it's doing is telling to tons of developers that this is what people want in video games. But the problem is, they aren't really true video games in the sense of being like other genres. So you end up with a problem where I'm concerned that if this gets too much out of hand, we're going to end up with a situation with a bunch of video games that are just subpar movies. A bunch of movie directors who just become video game makers just because they couldn't find the resources to direct a movie. And that's not what I want for anyone. I'm not saying you'll take over every genre, because the video game industry is far too large and far too diverse to ever fully happen, but it is something I worry about. And it's something I hope we can find. Not the idea that we shouldn't have story, but the methodology that mo video games must be like movies. That movies is the standard that video games must adhere to. I remember a bits and pieces of an old extra credits video back when they still made sense. And that they kind of meant on a similar point, but I feel it's still worth repeating. Is that video games are not movies. We should not be trying to make video games like movies. We should be trying to make video games like video games and movies like movies. And that's perfectly fine. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. We'll out. Hey, why don't you hit that sub button? You're gonna become a subscriber. Get to see my content quicker. Wouldn't that be nice? I bet so.